and uh, we're going to get rid of this this one here. Take that out. I don't like being welded up to this uh, cast steel back here either. These welds have a tendency to break from time to time. Um, so that's that. Also, we talked about this um, rear cage area here. The the uh, the top bar is on. Oh shit. The bottom leg, the lower legs are on, and uh, we're going to <clears throat> this this one's going to go up. There'll be two of these going forward. The uh, carburetor sits here. We got to get a manifold set up here for that. So the carburetor is going to sit right there with a hole in the plate, the tray, and the gas tanks are going to be mounted right there side by side. Then the carburetor, and then this back here will be uh, the carry area, the little tray area. And uh, we'll probably put another tray up on top of the gas tanks so you can carry stuff uh, when necessary. Um, we're getting real close to uh, putting this thing down on the ground and setting the head, which um, I got the head cut yesterday. And uh, the races are pressed in, and they're ready. This is now ready to mount on here. That's ready to go. Now, the way that we, the way that I determine the um, where the head angle is, we'll explain that to you here. So we have John. The owner of the trike and the driver of the trike, he will sit there on the seat because it's already padded and it's at the right height and everything. And um, then he will sit there and he will look right down through. He will look that. That's what you want to see uh, when you're sitting on the seat. You want to see exactly right through the middle of the head. Okay. Where that, that spot, where that on the ground. Well, now let's look at it again. That spot on the ground down there, wherever it happens to be, you put a mark there, and then you set your wheel there, and the axle goes right on top of that spot on the ground. That spot on the ground is called pad point. That is the pad point. That's how I determine angle of the head, and it's also how we determine the length of the front end. As once we know where the pad point is, that this spot, wherever it is on the pad point, we, we go up the height of the axle and measure back to the head. That gives us the length of the front end that we need to build. Then everything works properly. And you don't need to know about rake and trail and all that other calculated stuff. You just don't need any of that calculation at all. This is a much better, simpler, more straightforward, common sense way of figuring things out. All right, since I deleted the uh, other video clips, I have to do them all over again. So here we go. Today, I had John um, triangulate this, put in this bottom piece here, which triangulates this mount and strengthens it considerably. Also, we came up here and put this mount on, this little curly Q mount is the forward mount, and we're going to take this mount off. I'm going to re eliminate this mount because it's